I put this post up last night at 710keel.com, and we'll start this segment here. And former Governor Bobby Jindal was on Fox News yesterday. I heard a piece of that. And was being interviewed by Shepard Smith. Mm -hmm. And at one point in the midst of his comments on the Baton Rouge tragedies, he mentions Bobby does. All lives matter. And he continues, and Shepard Smith interrupts him and says, Governor, when you say all lives matter, do you say that on purpose? Here's literally what Shepard Smith asked. When you say, Governor, when you say all lives matter, mm -hmm. do you say that purposely because you know in many parts of America, many people consider that term derogatory? Hmm. And I put that segment up on the website at 710keel.com, and you can hear it, and you can watch it, and he presses him on it a couple of times. And, look, I had made the point before, and I made it with, I know I made it with Lloyd Thompson. Who else did we have on that day when, when, when Mr. Lloyd said, all lives matter? And I said, Mr. Lloyd, Black Lives Matter says if you say all lives matter, you're a racist. Have we gotten to the point in the country where if you say all lives matter, that that template, that, that, that zeitgeist is being advanced by the media in this country, that if you say all lives matter... You're being derogatory toward black people. You're being racist. Is that where we are? Because I think we're getting back to that. I think we're moving away from the Black Lives Matter. I saw a piece that was really well done. I'm not sure if it was on 60 Minutes or not, but it was like, it's time for, and they made some really derogatory comments about the Black Lives Matter movement, uh, playing some of the... What do we want? Dead cops. When do we want it now? Yes. And those chants from this group. And interesting. And it's like they, they said the Black Lives Matter movement has got to stop this. They have to stop Aaron, injecting these that's folks. That's what they're about. And that's the problem. And that's so the what they president, said. And so the president, was it yesterday, says, talking about Baton Rouge, talking about, I guess, on, on, on the heels of Dallas. He says, we have to do better. And you said, what, what did the president mean when he says, we have three dead police, we have five dead policemen in Dallas. Mm -hmm. We have three dead policemen in Baton Rouge. Right. And the president says, we have to do better. Mm -hmm. What do you think he meant? I've got my thoughts. What I'm, do you I'm not sure what he meant. I asked you too, and I don't know, I don't know the well, law. Hang on. I asked Dr. John, Congressman John Fleming, I said, when the president says, we have to do better, is he saying that, that, look, this is a tragedy, Dallas was a tragedy, but everybody needs to understand America has a racist past, mm -hmm. and you can't be surprised when things like this happen, so we all have to do better. Right. I.e., look, I got to tell you. When five policemen got shot in Dallas, it never occurred to me I had to do better. When yeah. three policemen yesterday killed in Baton Rouge, it never crossed my mind. Crossed my mind. You know, Bob, you got to look in the mirror. You got to do better. Mm -hmm. Those were killers. Those were assassins. Those yeah. were horrible people. What does that have to do with you doing better or me doing better or America doing better? Unless the president means, you know, we've got a history. We've got a past. This is horrible. But you can't be surprised, given our racist past. Right. I mean, is that how you take that? Yeah, th that is. So you asked a question a second ago. Is it okay for me to walk down Uri Drive carrying a rifle? Well, today I might hesitate to do that. I wonder what the law is. What is the law in Louisiana? You can open carry in Louisiana. So I can walk down the road with a, carrying a rifle, yeah. and, and I'm not going to get stopped? Oh, definitely. That's what I said. You might you might not want to do that today. And well, I'm not I'm not advocating it today, but I'm like, is that okay? Yeah, you can walk into the bank with a hunting rifle, but don't expect when it hits the don't be surprised when it hits the fan. They're going to want to know why you've got it. They're going to want to know what you're going to do. You're probably going to be questioned by law enforcement officials. Yes, is that okay? You know, is is that law okay? 
that, that's what I'm thinking to myself. Is it okay that people can walk around and carry guns anytime, anywhere they want? For the most part. What percentage of people do you think are carrying guns anytime they want and you just can't see it because it's concealed, concealed carry? Yeah, yeah, I know. That's... I know. I, I understand that. Okay. And I just wonder, when they talk about can we do better, is that what they're talking about? Can we do better with our gun no, laws? The pres well, that's what the president wants, your gun. I know. I understand. Every time something like this happens, every time there's a tragedy, in, in look, they're going to... In the president's mind, in the head of Barack Obama, if there's a tragedy like this, one of the answers that he always comes up with, and Hillary too, here basically is Dallas and, and Baton Rouge in a nutshell, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And let's tie it into the terrorist attack last week in France, in Nice. Hello, I am the government. I am incapable of protecting you and keeping you safe. The Prime Minister of France, not the President Hollande, but the Prime Minister says, this is the this is the new France. This is the new world. This is get used to this kind of thing. There's nothing we can do. So let's assume for the moment that that guy's right. And the new world order, if you will, is terror attacks and the things we've seen in Dallas and Baton Rouge. Mm -hmm. And the president, uh, the prime minister of France is absolutely right. There's nothing we can do. Well, you know what? If there's nothing we can do, if there's, if there's nothing the government can do, Barack Obama's answer to his helplessness, his haplessness, his unwillingness to protect you is to take away your gun. Hmm. I'm not going to help you. We can't help you. And now I don't want you to help yourself.